Hello YouTube, I bought this Avermedia King Broadcaster HD capture card. It can capture HDMI, but it can also capture VGA. A year ago Avermedia disconnected this product, so it was uh, pretty hard to find one, but I found this one online used for 60 euros. It's an internal PCIe uh, capture card, so I put it in my i7 3770K uh, machine. The system which I gonna use to test the capturing is this dual um, Pentium 2 overdrive with the Fudu 2 SLI setup running Windows NT. Also I uh, use this uh, active VGA splitter so I can use a normal monitor to uh, watch what I'm doing instead of on the display of the capture machine. On the back of the dual overdrive system I connected the sound card to the line in of my i7 system and here we have the VGA cable which goes to the splitter box on top. From the splitter box uh, this VGA cable goes to my uh, monitor and this uh, VGA cable goes to the capture card. I use this high quality cables to connect the system to the capture card. Here we have the VGA cable which goes into the capture system and the audio cable. Here if you go to the settings you can change the location uh, where he saves the files to and if you go in the pro menu here you can set up the game platform uh, to other PC, video source to DSUB, the audio source to the line in. I put it on 25 frames per second to match my camera footage. If you click ready you go to the capture screen. Without the video splitter this will be your display instead of the monitor. So if you click on the red button here it starts capturing. So let's start up a game. In 2291, in an attempt to control violence among deep space miners, the new Earth government legalized no-holds-barred fighting. If you check the lines on the wall you can see that the uh, game broadcaster HD has some lag uh, while displaying on the capture machine. That's why the VGA splitter is very important in the setup so we don't have any lag in games. Capturing the post screens, the BIOS setup and the boot process works fine on this card.
I tried the Game Broadcaster HD on my 286 and my Pentium 1 DOS gaming systems, but it gives an out of range error. So the card isn't compatible with all the DOS machines and uh, the DOS resolutions. So there you have it, my solution to capture VGA. It works perfect uh, with the 3DFX cards and other 3D gaming cards. So thanks for watching, please like and share this video, subscribe and leave a comment. See you next time.